Hi, my name is Michelle Depoy with Education Services. This video is one in a series of videos that describe how to use eVault products and features. In this video, I'll demonstrate the process of installing an eVault agent on a Windows file server system. Using backups, an eVault agent protects the files, directories, and system state of the system on which it is installed. While this video demonstrates the installation of a Windows agent, other eVault agents are available to protect other operating system types. Many agents also support one or more eVault agent plugins that enable an agent to protect a mission critical application like Exchange, Server, SQL Server, SharePoint, or Oracle. For this demonstration, I've already downloaded the eVault Windows Agent Installer program. To start the agent installation, I'll simply double click. The Agent Installer allows you to choose different languages. The options include English, French, German, and Spanish. I'll use the default of English and click OK to proceed. On the Welcome page, I'll click Next to continue the installation. On the Support Information and Release Notes page, you can use the View drop-down menu to display instructions about getting support or release notes for the product. Click Next to continue. On the End User License Agreement page, you may scroll down to read the terms of the End User License Agreement. You must accept these terms in order to continue the agent installation. If you're okay with the terms of agreement, click I accept the terms in the License Agreement. Click Next. On the Setup Type screen, there are two options, Typical and Custom. For most Windows agent installations, eVault recommends choosing the Custom option. This ensures that the correct Windows agent configuration options are chosen for your system. For example, if you need to install one of the available application-specific agent plugins, you must select the Custom option. I'll select the Custom option and then click Next. The Logon Credentials for Agent Services page is displayed only if you have selected the custom installation choice. On this page, you'll enter the credentials for an administrator account under which the agent service will run. Be sure to read the description for each choice and select the appropriate option. For example, for an Active Directory Domain Controller System or Exchange Server System, you should select Use Local System Account. For most other Windows installations, you can select Create Account Automatically. This choice causes the installer software to create an account named BU Agent Account. BU Agent Account has the necessary permissions to backup files and directories on locally attached disks or those accessible through network UNC paths. If you want to choose Use Custom Account, you must have created an account with sufficient privileges ahead of time. Because the demonstration system is a simple Windows file server system, I'll choose Create Account Automatically. And then click Next. Normally, eVault recommends that you install the Windows agent on a volume with at least one gig of free space. On the Destination folder page, you may click Change to modify the installation path or click Next to accept the default. The Custom Setup page is where you can choose from a variety of agent plugins that allow you additional backup options for widely used applications. By default, only the Windows Agent and Agent Assistant software is installed. The Agent Assistant monitors the system and the agent and can be configured to respond to such events as failed or missed backups, system shutdown requests while a backup is in progress, and the loss of system network connectivity. I'll click Next to accept the default. This page can be used to register the agent with Web Central Control. There are two versions of Central Control, Web Central Control and Windows Central Control. Either can be used to register the agent with a vault, configure and run backup jobs, perform restore operations, and view agent backup and restore log files. Because this agent will be managed by Windows Central Control, I will select Skip Registration. If you ever decide to switch from Windows Central Control to Web Central Control, then you can always register your agent with Web Central Control by rerunning the installer program and selecting Modify on the Program Maintenance page. Click Next. And on the Ready to Install the Program page, click Install. And finally, click Finish. The agent has been successfully installed. 
Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more about using eVault products and features, be sure to view the growing number of technical demonstration videos available on our website.